Hey parents, how you doing? David here with another uh, encouraging word for you this week. You know, this past Sunday, we looked at maybe the most tragic story in all of Scripture. Genesis chapter 3, it's the fall of man. You think about this, Adam and Eve had perfection. They had everything they wanted. They had a relationship face-to-face -face with God, and yet God gave them a free choice, gave them something that they could choose to obey or not to obey, and like all of us, they chose poorly. I think about our kids. I think about the first time that maybe I've caught my kids in a big lie. It wasn't that I just caught them uh, doing something wrong. It was the fact that I knew that, that they were willfully sinning and doing disobeying against me. It hurt me. It fractured the relationship. But the good news is, is that in Genesis chapter 3, in verse 15, it's the first mention of the hope of the gospel. God promises that there will be a coming Messiah that will come and make everything better, everything right. See, the truth is, is that our kids are, are subject to the sin in our life, and they're going to make mistakes. But that sin doesn't define them. There's hope. There's restoration. So my encouragement to you this week is actually find time to pull your kids aside and just reassure them of that. Tell them that their mistakes or things that they've done in the past don't define who they are. It's the hope in Jesus. It's their relationship with Christ that defines who they are, that they are loved by Jesus, by God. And it's not by the things that they do that will separate them. The same thing is true for you. You know that your uh, your relationship with God is the same exact way based on past failures, maybe even based on past parenting failures or marriage hurts. Those things don't define you. God loves you regardless. And there's hope just like in Genesis chapter three, verse 15. God loves you. He's got a plan and he wants to make it right. So this week, work on being patient with your kids offer forgiveness and seek to restore them uh, with one another or maybe with you. I hope that you have a great week. We'll see you next week for another uh, word of encouragement. Take care.